Hey, this is Mountain Spring Chicken. Yes, you're looking at me just a little bit differently today. I know. How do you like that? That's from Fashions Night Out. And these are, what is this, Makeup Forever at Christian Louboutin looking at shoes. They only did a thousand of these special edition eyelashes. Right? There were three different varieties to choose from. And these have little feathers on them because I had a feather in my hair. Okay, so I had a little bit of fun. But meanwhile, I guess we better, yeah, I guess we better talk about news like the president's address. Like, Oh, Mayor Villagrosa from L.A. And why he didn't quite make it to Fashion Night Out because he happened to be with the president for the president's address. So for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Mm. Markets roaring on the Obama's job plan. Economists all agree to the fact it was the most brilliant jobs plan ever. And Greece shares it. Oh, well, yeah. Greece is getting ready to default for the third time. And uh, and the market basically is tanking because Obama doesn't want to tell you how many people this job is going to the plan it will save or create. He doesn't want to tell you actually how much it costs, and he doesn't want to tell you. Uh, he, he basically, you can't send a piece of legislation up without it being written in legislative form. But he said, pass it, and we'll fill in the details after you pass it. Boy, haven't we heard that one before? Uh, they, they said he, 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 did, he forgot that he doesn't control the House of Representatives anymore. Oh. And agreed by all that the unemployment problem has now been fixed by America's greatest president and the greatest speech ever to be given. I know. Uh, basically, there was not even people on the left that thought, it was, thought he said anything. They said it was every, virtually everybody said it was nothing more than an election speech. It should not have been given in the play he basically he made a mockery of what he did harry reed made it even worse by ordering that every member of the senate be there because he scheduled a vote he knew the republicans and everyone that was going to not be there was going to vote against the thing and he knew that that I, you know, if they're not going to show up that we're going to pass a piece of crappy legislation that the republicans don't want to teach them a lesson well they showed up they voted the legislation down and obama took a he, he, nobody watched his pro thing last night. After it was over, he lost a piece of legislation he wanted, also that they could basically force the Republicans to sit there and listen to him in a campaign speech and look presidential. Well, I guess it was better than him doing it either the same night as the, what, the Republicans made. Or if he'd done it the night before, boy, they would have chewed him all up. Well, I know. The basically, they all chewed him up because they said that... Uh, there was nobody, the pollsters are saying that uh, Obama's polls went down as a result of that speech because there was nothing, I, I was watching last night, there was not a single person, even people that worship the ground he walks on, that felt that was a speech that was worthy of, of being before a joint house of Congress. And it was all, it was unanimous again, 100%, 50% of the people that voted for McCain, 50% for him, that all agreed it was nothing but a campaign speech. He wanted to make the Republicans look bad, and the Republicans wouldn't even give a response to what he did because it was, as they said, it wasn't worth us not watching the football game to go give a response to that. And pass the bill, pass the bill, pass the bill, then we will tell you the true cost and how it will be paid for. Well, they, yeah, and that's all. He, they said that, that all they're doing, the comics, pass the bill, pass the bill, pass the bill, pass the bill, pass the bill. That was that we see. That was how he managed to get the Democrats didn't even want to get on their feet because they can't vote for this in an election year because it will cost their their jobs to spend money. But so he finally, after about the 14th or 15th time, of passed the bill, passed the bill. The Democrats got up and cheered him, and then they sat back down. Well, this should sound familiar then. Instead of pass the bill, it's raise the taxes on the wealthy. Raise the taxes on the wealthy. I know. If you don't, you're un-American. I know. Isn't that something? That they said he's not a chance in this world he's going to get the taxes raised. He, he said that, uh, okay, they figured that what I, they said that there's, uh, that they'll get the unemployment ta unemployment thing, only part of his unemployment thing done. They're not going to give him $170 billion in new unemployment extension. They're going to give him for like 13 weeks. And he's only going to get, and, uh, and the amount of money they're going to cut, you know, taxes on businesses amounts to five billion, not, uh, not, 160 billion like he was talking about. But the uh, he's also not going to get his uh, his uh, 100 billion dollars for local communities, and they're not going to give him his 160 billion dollar uh, 
Empire Union project, so. And Rick Perry's Galileo metaphor is totally backwards. Um, so he's a politician. Since when do they know anything about anything? <laughs> An FBI raids the offices of Obama's personal choice of a green company, Sol Sol Solaris. Solaris, yeah, that green solar company. They're trying to find where $600 million went. Well, uh, it's probably in the back pocket of all the politicians that help arrange it. So, I mean, uh, uh, first of all, they said there is no market for green in this country. Obama can't force a market for green. You know that Obama gave a hundred was 160 million dollars to Los Angeles for uh, for uh, putting weather stripping on homes, and they only weather stripped 500 and some homes. Oh really? Brilliant, isn't it? That's it. That's it. Well, I, I bet the people that did the paperwork were well. Actually, they're all probably related, aren't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they're all liberal. They're all Democrats to put the money in their pockets. And Ben and Jerry's reveals a new flavor, sweaty balls. I know. Are you serious? I know. They got, they, they always come. Okay, what is Ben and Jerry basically have went loony? And do I see a lifeguard that is not a lifeguard down there? I see a lifeguard in, in black trunks. That's not a lifeguard. Yeah. And a woman sickened by fumes at Georgia McDonald's dies. I know. Isn't that That's something? Bad. Oh, I know. It just, uh, uh, Somebody, they got, you know, the people walked into the place uh, and got poisoned by what was ever in the, and uh, running through the filtration system and air conditioners. Ew. Yeah. And Obama um, puts the Republicans in a no-win corner. Well, yeah. They either have to pass the taxes or look obstructionist to the American people. I mean, I, mean, I, you know, I, I know that Sean Hannity and other people can't get it through their heads, but it can't hurt somebody that they were never going to vote for to begin with. Democrats don't vote for Republicans. So if the Republicans say, don't spend money, you're not likely to throw out the candidate that doesn't spend money. But they think it's gonna, it's severely gonna hurt the Republican Party because they're gonna look like they're obstructionists. And first black child diagnosed with disease. I know, I mean, I, I've, I've known people. I know Montgomery Cliff, the actor, died. I think he was like 39 years old and looked like he was in his 60s, so. An exclusive Facebook double is the first half revenue. Oh, yeah. The, you know that they're looking, I was listening last night, they're looking for a hundred billion dollars. And, and, and um, the, uh, they said the word, they're actually looking for an IPO of a hundred billion dollars. Oh, come on. A hundred billion. That's what the, uh, the people last night were talking about because yeah, they right. said the word to the company is four or five hundred billion according to the estimates. And they're looking for the biggest, uh, biggest IPO in the history of this nation, but it won't be done in the United States because uh, they can't get it through the regulators, so they're going to do it elsewhere in the world. Yeah, something stinks. Yeah. Um, Fitch warns of downgrades for China and Japan. Yeah, because the com the countries are okay. Japan is not. Uh, Japan is broke, and China is manipulating everything. And China is threatening you. You won't downgrade us like you did Barack Obama. You know, because they're going to get tough. Well, they're going to get down here because the money's worthless, and the country has not got nine percent growth. I mean, this, you know, nobody has nine percent growth in your businesses. In Connecticut, man, I've been stealing two million dollars in ATM scam. I know. I, and this is good as another one. A guy, a guy with the with the mint stole two and a half million dollars in coins. How do you steal two and a half million dollars in coins? Wow. Uh, do you realize how many coins you got to take out of a building over Maybe a span of time? Maybe they were gold coins. Gee, I don't think so. Not at that bit. And deficit cutting panel on short but tough road. Uh, well, yeah, there's even bigger problem than that. Uh, Senator Kyle left it, left it because the only thing you're talking about on the deficit reduction panel is raising taxes and cutting the military. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, we're going to have we're going to have comprehensive tax reform later but first we need to we need to get this thing so we need about 750 billion in new taxes and 750 billion in okay here's the way it works Kyle said if we do absolutely nothing we get 750 billion dollars in cuts in defense if we do what they want we get 750 billion dollar cuts in defense but them, they said when you put six Democrats on that don't like the defense department and only want to raise taxes what did you expect was going to happen, folks? Oh, that's true. 
And post 9-11, U.S. intelligence reforms take root and problems remain a go. Oh, like right now, and I, you know, that, uh, here's one. Coincidence only happens in bad movies starring Lorenzo Lamas on the Sci-Fi Channel. Coincidentally, with Obama's speech, the speech was overridden by the fact that there's a credible evidence that there's going to be a terrorist attack on the United States. I find that coincidental, folks, so... And Nike releases a famed Back to the Future shoe. I know, I said, like, they're, I, I hate this, I mean, like, they're worried that Michael J. Fox was awkwardly shaking his head yesterday on the Tonight Show, um, I mean, on the David Levy Show when he was promoting the Nike shoes. Uh, he's got Parkinson's disease, folks. That happens. That's what he does that all the time. I know, but Michael J. Fox did it before he had Parkinson's disease. Anna Monty Bubble is from Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, that uh, which probably isn't written on the thing, is it? So, <laughs> okay, so we'll try to think. Okay, here's the problem. Okay, you know you're getting old when absolutely nobody ha will listen to anything you have to say because there's a possibility you might be right and they don't want to admit somebody old is right. You know, see, that's life, folks. 